I'm in Seattle. Here I am. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't think I would fool anybody that I'm in Seattle. I'm still in Toronto. It's actually the Tuesday. Uh, we're actually down at the ball game. Sky Dome. Well, Rogers Center now. Uh, I'm just leaving work on the Tuesday and I'm leaving for Seattle in the morning. In the morning. Oh boy. Yep. So, uh, I'm actually heading out to buy another battery for this video camera. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Because I can see it right now on the screen, it's flashing slow. Yeah, I can charge it, but you know. I don't know how long it's gonna last while I'm at the uh, at pack, so I'd like an emergency backup, you know? Ah, oh, and it looks like he just finished. Well, there goes the legendary drummer, dude. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, um, I'll be on a plane shortly. So from uh, Toronto, at the base of, look up, look way up. From the base of the CN Tower, all the way to, right down to the base of the Space Needle, here in Seattle, which is far from the CN Tower. Not only in distance, but in height as well, but you know, it's still interesting. It's a tower that sticks into the sky. Wonder why they built this thing. It's not that impressive, but then again, like I said, I, I come from a city that has the CN Tower, you know, a marvel of human engineering. But whatever, you know. It's for the experience, and I am fascinated by buildings. Tall buildings, large buildings, big buildings. Things that get really stiff and stick up into the air. Oh, I didn't say that. Anyways, uh... General admission. That's what we want. Because we're general. Please enter here. Okay. Don't mind if I do. So I'm gonna buy some tickets and then... We'll see what happens next. Move. And we are inside. There's the typical gift shop, which I'm sure they will make us walk through on exit or even on entrance. I don't know. We're going up this spiral ramp at the moment. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get some digital photo as well. Free photo. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> huh? What did that say? Did what? Huh. It's a zero, huh? Nothing. The 6.8 quake in 01. 2001, I assume. Did zero damage to the structure. Huh. Interesting fact. And here's the elevator. Right on in, guys. Hey, that's a little bit cool. I'm sitting in the front with the cab driver and Marty and Judy and, uh, and uh, Basil right in the back. This will be a window. It's very dark now. It's a mirror. But it is a window. Alright, everyone's going to be nice and cozy. All right, how's everyone doing? Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, anyone's first time up? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Great. Well, my name is Jonathan. I'll be your guide for the next 41 seconds or so. <laughs> We're headed up to the observation deck, 520 feet in the air, going 10 miles an hour. Pretty average as far as elevators go. Total height of the building, 605 feet, 184 meters. It's at the very tip of the antenna. Back when we were built in 1962, we were the tallest building west of the Mississippi River. You can probably guess that we've lost that title since then. Right now we're the seventh tallest in Seattle alone. Currently we're facing out to the north. You have Queen Anne Hill directly in front of you, one of our oldest residential neighborhoods. To the right of that, Freshwater Lake Union. That's where the houseboat from Sleepless in Seattle is. And then just across the water to our northwest, you can see the Olympic Mountains looking very nice today. Pretty clear out. Now we're open till midnight. You have lots of time to check everything out. Please just keep all food and drinks inside while you're up here. Thank you. There we go, that was the elevator right up. I'll tell you that right now. What else can I tell you right now? 
know, I don't know. Let's take a look around. Let's see, I don't know if this is gonna get up on camera very well. There's some mountain ranges in the in the distance there. Wow, I can't I think I, that's snow there, people. That's snow. There's snow on those those hills out there. Yeah, it's hard to zoom in on them very well. I don't even know what I'm seeing there. It's a peak of a mountain. You can see it's very hazy though today. Let's see if I can get this going here. Okay, there's the Seahawks Stadium. Now, can you see that? That is Mount St. Helens. Active volcano, people. Active. Wouldn't that just be it? That'd be impressive. Imagine it went off right now. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so I was incorrect. The larger and more impressive one out there, if you can see it, is Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier. And it is also an active volcano. Uh, hasn't erupted lately though, so that's all good to go. Mount St. Helens is smaller actually in size and is next to Rainier. But the one you can clearly see, that's Mount Rainier and that one. That's still, wow, cool. Active volcano time. And then uh, it's in there somewhere. Can't really see it because of all the fog and well, it's not as big actually, but that is still an impressive sight. I'll tell you that right now. Moo! Hello, everybody. Cow's crazy here. I'm in the lobby of my hotel actually. Oh, and there's mail over there. How convenient. Up. Yeah, we're going up to my hotel room. Let's see here. We're going to take number 28. I pushed the wrong button. It's so weird because there's these door open and door close buttons. On this one, door closes to the left, but there's another elevator where it's on the other side. It's all, I don't know. And I'm a button pusher, so as I said in one of my things, look at that. Wow, you can see me in the door. Look at that, it's like mirror mode. <laughs> Rolling up, 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 up. Keep on going up. Oh, 28th floor. That's where I belong. That's where I am. If the door's ever open, there we go. Come down the hallway. I'm in the corner here. Do I, have, I don't have my door key out yet. Gotta get my door key going. I don't know if it's just for the convention. It's gotta be, but they give it a Mass Effect 3 door key. <laughs> Must have something to do with the convention. Anyways, here we are in the hotel room closet. Of course. I left the TV on because I just actually went down to the lobby for a moment to ask a question and to get a Gatorade. Anyways, first thing you come to on the right is in the bathroom. Yeah, I just had a shower. My towel's drying off. In the bathroom. Yep. And then we got a nice TV. Oh yeah, watching a little ESPN. They talk about so much college football and fo NFL football. I guess it's just that time of year. Painting on the wall. Got all my electronic equipment here. Yeah, it's actually Thursday now. And yesterday, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story here. I'm gonna look out the window. Let's look out the window here. Yeah, there we go. Gonna tell you guys a little story of why there's no footage from Wednesday. Cause I really didn't expect any footage from Wednesday to be completely honest with you. Um, I got here Wednesday early in the morning. It was 11 a.m. here, but I woke up. On my time, I woke up around, well, I don't know. Uh, four o'clock in the morning. I was running off five hours sleep. It was it was crazy time. My flight left at 9 a.m. my time, and I got here at 11. So three-hour time difference. Yesterday, um, I came in all the way here, and I was tired. I was I don't know why, but flying really does take 
a toll on you. I love flying. I love everything about flying, except for taking off, turbulence, and landing. But other than that, every other part of flying was great. <laughs> so anyways, it actually dragged the energy right out of me. Not that I had much to begin with, but I didn't plan on doing much. I planned on coming into my nice hotel room, laying in bed, getting on the internet, and uh, just relaxing and then going, going to sleep. Maybe watch, after watching a little Big Brother on the TV, right? But that's not what happened, actually. I get here and I start to unpack and I play my PSP and I play, I play my DS a little bit. And as you can see here, I have my DS power cord. I have my phone charger, which actually I didn't need to bring my phone at all because I can't take long distance calls here because it'll cost me a fortune. And even texting apparently costs me a fortune, which means no Twitter on my phone, which actually pisses me off so much. Uh, quite a lot, actually. I thought you didn't have to pay for incoming tick text, but apparently you do, according to Steve. So I'm not going to risk that he's wrong, and uh, so I shut 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 that off. I shut that off. So I can't. My phone is now a timepiece. I look at it to see what time it is. But anyways, I'm not very good at storytelling, am I? Got my headset here. Got a computer game controller, which, well, there's a reason for that that we don't have to discuss right now. Got my Bulls hat here. Got to represent the Bulls, you know? But anyways, I got all these chargers here for all different things. For the camcorder, for my camera, for the PSP, for the DS. I got all these different kinds of chargers here. But guess what? Laptop? Charger? No, no. Sitting out on my floor at home. So I had to go and figure out where the hell I was going to buy a, uh, a charger for my laptop, which I eventually found, but it was not easy. I ran all over town, went to a future shop, I went to another electronics store, and lots of these places, like, wanted a lot of money for these things, like, 90 a $100, and, like, I wasn't willing to spend that on a mistake that I made, but at the same time, I kind of needed it, so... I eventually found one at Best Buy, uh, which is far out of town, and that's why I had to take that bus that goes underground. Yeah, here's my transfer. Anybody want to see my transfer? There's my transfer. Metro in King County. AM, PM, yeah, transfer. Anyways, so that's what I had to do. I went all the way out to Best Buy, and I got this charger here. It's all full of people. Isn't that crazy? 
too pleased. So I was one of, one of the last people to show up, but it looks like I'm getting the go in first. So, uh, and those guys have been waiting for a while. Uh, well, you know, that usually works against me, so I'll, uh, I'll gladly take it this time. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll take the benefit here. People. Start off with a little Gears of War right at the front. Here we are. Now it's time to figure out what the hell we're going to do here. There's some things I want to see today and hopefully I'll remember to get around to them. So here I am, I just actually tried Star Fox 64. Yeah, it's been a while since I played a flying game. It took me a while to get used to. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good game and the 3D really works well and uh, here we got Ocarina of Time 3DS, which I already have, so I don't really need to give it a try. Got Connect over there, it looks like, which I might have to try. I don't know, who knows, maybe they'll impress me. Probably not. Nobody knows who they are. 